everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We have everything for you right here. So we're going to talk about the NFL football season. We're down to the final four teams. It's NFC and AFC Championship Week, so we're going to get started. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section right here, which has all the tools that you will need. So again, let's take a look at the matchups here. It should be a great weekend of football. This is Sunday, January the 30th. The Cincinnati Bengals and the Kansas City Chiefs. The Bengals are coming in burning hot. Winners of five out of their last six. They took down the Titans 19-16 in a hard-fought defensive battle. The Chiefs are also burning hot. They have won five out of their last six, and they took down the Bills in probably the most exciting game of the season, 42-36 to in overtime. Kansas City is coming in huge favorites at 7.5 points, with odds of 1.3 to 3.46, and the over-under is set at 54.5. The score prediction has the Chiefs by a 30-22 score with 59% confidence. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, you will see that back in January, beginning of this month, January the 2nd, the Bengals won at home as underdogs. They won by a 34-31 score. The power rankings indicator shows the Chiefs are at plus 30, while the Bengals are at plus 23. If you look at the over-under here, you can see that the Bengals trended in games under the line in three out of the last six, while the Chiefs have been over in all six games. Now, if you look at the score prediction of 30 to 22, now it is only 59%, this would have the Chiefs covering, but would go slightly under the line. The volatility oscillator shows the consistency factor. How consistent have the teams been performing with regards to their favorite underdog status? You see that Kansas City is at plus seven, and they're a lot more consistent in that regard than the Bengals have been coming in at plus zero. Let's take a look at there, see if there's been any movement in the line. Here's the money line. This is the money line for the Chiefs. You can see it opened at 1.31, and there's been some movement in the line, and it's gone up to... 1.3, so it's just a very small movement in the line, but this is even more in favor of the Chiefs than it was before. I really think the Chiefs definitely have the advantage here at home. They're very tough here in this kind of game, and I do believe that the Chiefs will have too much. They will win and cover, and I do like a high-scoring game. I would like to bet over the line. In the NFC Championship, with the San Francisco 49ers advancing, after defeating the Packers in Green Bay, a very impressive win in a defensive battle, 13-10. And they won on a late field goal. The Rams almost blew the game against Buccaneers. They were way ahead. Buccaneers stormed back, but the Rams prevailed at the end with a field goal, and they have advanced as well. So both teams are burning hot at the moment. The 49ers are underdogs on the road by 3.5 points. And the odds are in favor of the Rams here at 1.55 to 2.42. The score prediction has the Rams by a 30 to 22 score with about 49% level of confidence. And you see the over under is set at 46.5. If the score stands as that, that would go over the line and the Rams covering rather easily. If we look at the head to head matchups this season here, what happened? Well, 49ers won 27 24 in overtime back on January the 9th. The 49ers also won on November the 15th by a 31 to 10 score. So it's very interesting that the Rams took, uh, excuse me, that the 49ers took both games uh, this season against the 49ers, excuse me, against the Rams. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens here. But let's take a look at the power rankings indicator first. You see on the power ranking indicator, 49ers were at plus 16 back on January 2nd. They have been on a steady climb since then, up to plus 25. And the Rams have climbed as well from plus 26 up to plus 29. You notice that the 49ers have been involved in games under the line in five out of the last six, and the Rams in three out of the last six. So I like the under in this one. I think this is going to be a lower scoring contest. If you look at the consistency factor the two teams have shown, uh, moderately consistent, right? Moderately stable. The Rams at plus four, 49ers at plus one. So take that into consideration when considering the favorite and underdog status for this game. Let's look at the movement in the line if there has been any movement. This is 
the line. So you see the line here was at 1.549. There's a sharp movement in detection here in favor of the Rams. Right in here, you look at this. Went from 1.549 to 1.51. But now it is back to pretty much where it started from at 1.549. Either way, the Rams are the favorites. I do like this time the Rams to prevail. I don't think the 49ers will beat the Rams for a third straight time. I like the Rams at home to win and cover in a low-scoring game, so I will bet the under. So there you have it. So we're looking at a Chiefs-Rams Super Bowl coming up in two weeks. Enjoy the games. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.